What is up, you lovely, beautiful people? How are you guys doing? Hope you are doing well. Don't know why I'm shouting at the beginning of this video. It's kind of nice to be outside. It's um, a little bit late in the day. I have the entire day off today. Uh, but I've been waiting for it to stop raining. I'll talk more about the weather this week in a momento. But uh, it won't stop raining. So, um, hey puppy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's very friendly. He's very friendly. <laughs> Making friends already. But um, yes, the weather just does not want to let up. It's a little bit lighter now, um, as in we just got a little bit of the the light rain. So I'm gonna get on the wheel and take you around uh, as much as I can in the rain safely. Um, around Krakow, Poland. Um, got the gloves on. Whoop, pop these under. These were in my bag. Alright, uh, let's talk more. Let's talk more on the wheel, shall we? <coughs> okay, off we go. Might put the put the light on. Boop. So it's not raining too bad. It's not raining too bad. Um Yeah, so <coughs> I um last week in Turin, Italy, I'd finally put all my sort of winter gear away, tucked away into storage in another suitcase that I have on the tour um, for the for the winter stuff. Because I thought, you know, what springs here? We don't need all these big thick gloves and thermals and waterproofs anymore. The weather here in Krakow on uh, Monday was amazing. We arrived Monday, beautiful, like 20 degrees. Mm. It was just, oh, it was so good. I was like, yes, right, gonna get a haircut. I cut the mop off, went down to the buzz cut, trim, feeling super light, loving life. Tuesday, mate, it was, mate, friends, guys, all oh, my feet are cold. Wow, yeah, it's like four degrees at the moment. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, me and Mika, we hired bikes and we went off like in that direction. I think it was that direction. Uh, and we rode our bikes all day, like an hour bike ride out to this working monastery, super chill, patted some cats, sat by the river, enjoyed a, a cider and some treats, our oh, coffee. One of those awesome days on a bike. Not been on a bike in a while. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. Up this way here, great cycle path all the way to the arena where we're performing at the moment. Uh, we had great audiences last night. It's a little side note, because uh, I am thinking about, all right, no lights are working here. We've just got the zebra crossing working, which people abide by here, which is lovely. Italy. Not so much. I guess it's a, at least it's a place where humans are going to be crossing and cars are aware. Right, we're in Poland. So yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a little video. Oh, this guy's, oh, we've got some steps here. Whoop, whoop, another step. Whoop. I'm going to do a commute video into the venue because um, it's really cool. It's just psychopaths all the way. Uh to work I just hope hope it um, brightens up a little bit on the weekend uh, excuse me so yeah what was I saying yeah beautiful day Tuesday lovely even got a bit of sun kiss on my face uh, and then since then it's sort of gone downhill a bit as we're seeing here it's actually not too bad um, my intention was to come out, I was going to ride into into the city, into the old town, grab some food. I'm not eating yet. Um, I've been at home replying to all your comments on YouTube, which I, te which I tend to do. I let them all accumulate over the week and then I'll have a little comment session and blast it all out. Sometimes I might... Um, 
yeah, sometimes I might reply as soon as, as soon as you reply, depending on what I'm doing. Um, but I do like to just sit down with a coffee and get the comments comments responded to. So yeah, I was going to get some food and stuff, but then I come out, it's raining, and I thought, ah, oh, I don't want to, you know, I'm not sure how wet I'm going to get. I don't have my full waterproofs on. Um, so I don't want to have to ride all the way into town, which is what I'm doing now, eat, and then come out in the rain again and shoot a video and be all sad and sad because I'm all wet. So I thought I'd start the video off there. And uh, yeah, this is this is where we're going into. This guy doesn't want to let me go. Here we go. Thank you very much. Look at the cute trams. The trams are looking busier than usual. Yeah, so Krakow, Poland. Never been here before. This is the first time I've been here. There's not many. Uh, I think there's another place, yeah, uh, called Sofia, where we're going to in two weeks. We've got Budapest next week. Um, I've never been to that place either. But everywhere else I've you know, been lucky enough. This is like my third European tour, so... Uh, it's not my first rodeo so it's nice to come somewhere new again new and exciting even if it is raining you know it's just a bit of rain in it um although i'm pretty cold <laughs> pretty chilly yeah thankfully for the gloves i had these uh in the bottom of my, ba of my bag uh, in the bottom of my bag there um so that was lucky uh let's get on the road I don't tend to use a road that much when I can use a pavement. Um, I guess it's a bit clear and open here. It's mainly, mainly because cars just don't know how to react to you. Like they're, they're used to being around bikes and stuff. Um, but when they sort of see, I guess humans don't know how to react either. But I feel a lot more comfortable uh, reacting to other humans. Yeah, we've got a bike path here and some pigeons. Hey, friends. A little bit easy to react with other bikes and stuff and other humans on the road, so... I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close to the old town. So this bike path goes onto the tram lines. I'm not going to follow that. The, pi the pavement here is quite wide. Um, I'll just um, slowly, mindfully make my way through these people here. I want you to lock in that sort of slow bass of weird mask, isn't it? Once you uh, lock in that balance, going nice and slow, it's actually not too bad. You can blend into the humans, the other humans, the walking, non gliding humans um, quite easily. Psychopath is back. Woohoo! Yeah, you just feel a lot taller. Oh, this guy's had a few too many, I think. <laughs> Either that, he was just super chill. Um, I did see uh, one person on Tuesday riding, uh, I think it was a monster. It was a beast. I, can't, I don't know wheel it was. No, the really tall one. The really tall King Song. I can't remember what it is. Anyway, he was riding that um, through the park, which is cool to see. Um, I never know what to do in those situations. Uh, and he wasn't going very fast. He was just cruising through. I could be like, hey, man, sweet wheel. Mind if I have a go? Or do you want to meet up at some point? And maybe we can... Uh, oh. Bit of a puzzle the police have got themselves into. Wow, that's loud. <laughs> the tram sort of stopped halfway. Are oh, we going across? <laughs> okay, here we are. We're approaching. So this park here, the park, it, um, it, it goes all the way around, like a horseshoe, around the entire old town. 
um, which is kind of cool. But I think what we'll do first, we'll head into the old town. Have a little looky looky around there. Um, you'll see it. You'll see it. Don't you worry. I'll show you around. Ooh, oh, it's chilly. Tense. Ah, oh, flipping. Wow. Yeah, look at all these buildings. Look. See how they're sort of like slanted everywhere. Whoop. I think that's how they were architecturally designed. Um, yeah, it's very cool. It's a nice, nice looking town, city, Poland. Everyone's been super nice, super friendly. Things just work here. It was a little bit tricky in Italy. Um, I'm sure it works for the Italians. So, you know, it's all different. Every week's different. Um, but when you travel to new places every single week, um, you like the little comforts of, you know, like being able to use your car. Because I use my cars for everything these days. Um, and I don't want to list off all the pros and cons to each place. Everyone's different. And that's, that. I mean, that is the beauty of traveling to all these different places to experience the cultures of how things work and what people like to do yada yada this sort of stuff here in Poland they like to sell cuddly toys and uh, there's a lot of these horses with like rubber shoes on my friend Stevie Freeman if you're watching that I wonder why I guess I mean they are I mean it's not nice is it but um, they're on concrete all the time anyway don't want to get into it too much but yeah, this is uh, this is a main square. This is one of the main cathedrals. I guess it's a cathedral. It's pretty big. It's pretty cool looking. Um, yeah, let's have a little ride around here. I mean, this is the main square, really. I did plan. My my idea was to there's this giant, big grassy mound area. As well I go through these markets, they weren't open the other day. The Easter markets. Oh, that's a big uh, whoop. Yeah, cool. Last markets we went to were the Christmas markets in Germany. Had a few glue vines. Mmm, <laughs> the smells are good. What have we got? I'm not sure what, what they're selling really. Um, so yeah, yeah, we've got a better, better view of the cathedral here. And um, yeah, my plan is to go to the big grassy mound, but weather, you know, it's like, we go through here, but you can see it's pretty cool. More markets, I won't go in there. A lot of pedestrians. <laughs> um... It's days like that on the sat on the Tuesday. I wish I could travel my wheel. It's um, I do I have been meaning. You know, I'm going to put it up. I'm going to edit this video, and I'm going to edit this other video that I shot weeks ago, answering that one question that I get pretty much in every video, asking me how I travel my wheel. Um, everywhere, um, because you know it is a very special random way I get to see the world um, never mind travel the wheel um, I just uh, it's, it feels like I'm giving people bad news you know you know when you see like how like, <laughs> if I put the video is like how do I travel my wheel around the world well basically it's I mean, most of you guys know how to how I do it anyway it's just it's not you know you what are you going to do get yourself on a a tour maybe Rock and roll tour, groupie. I don't know. There was one guy who travels a. A really, I can't don't remember what wheel it was, but this is a cool sculpture, isn't it? People get inside and you look through his eyeball. You can you can see by uh, see how the how it's gone all golden. This guy's going in. It's that soft. You can see his brains. <laughs> cool yeah there's a guy he does tricks I follow him on Instagram 
and he has one wheel that he travels it's um i can't, don't know what size the battery is but he takes it all apart and he takes a battery on his hand luggage and takes the rest of the wheel puts it in his suitcase so he can have a wheel everywhere he goes um which i think it's a great idea um, and i think my v5 you can do that with the v5 i just it would just be and for, I guess if you travel, I know he lives in the States, so he travels with the same airlines all the time, so he knows that those people allow that. Um, but if you're traveling with different airlines all the time, then there's that risk of them just saying no uh, to that battery. And that would just be rubbish, wouldn't it? Um, let me, where do we want to go? Let's go back up this way. Uh, and mosey on through some of the side streets because Neil is getting pretty damn cold right now. So anyway, yeah, and also take, taking the wheel apart, it's just not easy, is it? Um, I think that's that's certainly something uh, where there's a gap in the market for these things. Um, certainly to be able to, like the that UK company, uh, where you can take off the take off the batteries. Uh, and take them on as hand luggage and then pop the wheel in the suitcase which just makes it more accessible isn't it the battery doesn't give you as much um, distance but you just you can carry a couple if you carry two you've got double the distance that's all right um, it'll be nice to see King Song or you know Ninebot Gotway all those friends in motion come up with a travel wheel you know it doesn't necessarily I mean, maybe the Luffy. What do you think? I think the Luffy. There, there's been a Luffy on eBay, on the UK eBay for ages now. The little ten-inch wheel, which it does look pretty cool. Um, I'm so tempted to get one just because I like little miniature things, but at the same time, um, because I can travel this, it's all right. But maybe for the practicality of things, you could that would fit in your backpack. I think they actually do backpacks for them. Okay, we'll take a little mosey around the uh, the park. Um, yeah, the Luffy. It does look pretty cool. The uh, Speedy Feet guys, they seem to like it. Their video on their website is pretty, pretty good. So uh, if you want to know about that, check out the Luffy. It looks pretty. It looks like a bit of a beast as well. It seems to uh, seems to go pretty fast. But anyway, not sure how I managed to ramble into that conversation. But there you go. I uh, I have been. Now let me know. I thought I'd share this. You know, my recent um, what do you call it? And a recent thing that I'm deciding on doing, I've been, I've been, you know, as we all do with our phones and devices, I'm um, consciously taking a uh, effort to uh, unplug from all social media, basically the use of my mobile phone, my device. Now I've been doing it for maybe two weeks now, and I'm feeling it's great. Just getting rid of those urges, those addictive urges that have been set in through using uh, those notification apps like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. That just it's always asking for your attention, isn't it? Notification after notification, email. I guess email's not too bad, but you get your junk email. Anyway, cut a long story short, I've uh, been been on this uh, little journey of detoxifying my my phone usage um, and it's been great man honestly it feels so good uh, and I just bought a tiny little uh, phone called the jelly little Android phone hopefully you're not too wet up there let me just give you a little wipe there we go yeah little jelly that's like the smallest Android phone in the world uh, and my brother's going to be bringing that out to Budapest next week and I think having a smaller device that has you know I still need maps I still want chatting apps 
uh, an email, but I don't need Instagram or I don't really use Twitter or YouTube. Any any apps that you can sort of get lost in. Um, let me know how you feel about that. Let me like uh, are you guys. Do you find yourself addicted to those sort of things? Do you get lost in those realms of rabbit holes where you're just scrolling down? I'll tell you what, I used to. You know, I'm not saying I won't ever get stuck again, but the idea is to uh, yeah get away from it. Give myself some more free time to read books and do other cool things and not get trapped in the in those apps because you know they're designed they may that the longer you spend on those apps the more money those companies make and there are other humans out there who whose job it is to design those things those apps where they uh they grab your attention and manipulate your little mind your little monkey mind <laughs> anyway god i'd love to keep on going guys but um We've seen a little bit of Poland. Like I said, I'll uh, on the weekend. I do like this little church here. It's quite cute. Got lots of churches. Got another one over there. Got one here. Um, I will do another video this week because this is a little bit short. Um, but I just wanted to get out whilst I could because I'm in work all weekend. This is my little day off, which is awesome. Um, I'll just show you around uh, Poland. I mean, not the entire Poland, because that would you know, take a couple of videos, but uh, around Krakow. So far, I mean, love it, absolutely love it. Um, I mean, it doesn't take, a, I just as long as it's got good coffee, good plant-based foods, uh, nice architecture, colours, you know, a bit of rain's alright, um, keeps Neil happy. And lots of psychopaths. Like I'll show you on the route into work tomorrow. Well, I'll shoot it tomorrow. I might delay it a few days before I upload it. Um, it's a really cool route. Really cool. Yeah, I really like this place. My cousin and my auntie, uh, a few of the friends have been saying how good it is. And, you know, I can confirm it. It's a great place. I really, really like it here. Poland. Lovely, lovely place. All right, I'm gonna finish up with this uh, old, um, what do you call it? I guess there was a, a wall that would surround the entire old town here. And these are the remains. Oh, it's chilly. Uh, there were, this was full of loads of paintings. There was a guy here selling loads of artwork. Um, on the sunny days but let's go through here and uh, we'll say our goodbyes <laughs> only a couple of weeks left guys and about six weeks left of tour life and then it's on to new new adventures um, which I will will talk about oh let me put you up here I'm going to turn my wheel off actually hello there we go now I can actually talk to the camera flipping Okay, 25 minutes, that's pretty good. Um, don't need to go for much longer than that, do we? So yeah, um, we have Budapest next week, so look out for that one. My brother's coming out for that. Uh, hopefully, um, give you a quick update, I ordered those pedals on e-wheels, the V10 uh, things. FedEx, three to four day delivery, but unfortunately my, my delivery is still pending. I ordered those on the 4th uh, of April. Um, and it, it's it, it's not looking good. It needs to be. It needs to arrive this week. Um, my brother flies out next Monday on Monday, so hopefully we'll get that. I got the the postage from Matt, who we spoke about last week about the V10 pedal conversion. Those have arrived, but I need the pedals from E Wheels. Uh, so hopefully we get that sorted out. If not, it'll have to be the week after. Uh, in Sofia um, but anyway we'll figure it out there'll be videos to come um, my grip tape on my InMotion is I'm not sure we can call it grip tape anymore thankfully I've got some grippy shoes uh, so I'm in much need of those new beautiful pedals anyway that's the update for now 
Uh, yeah, Budapest next week. Lovely place. But um, stay tuned for more videos from here because I'm going to do that little uh, commute video and I'll put that video out explaining how I travel my wheel, all that sort of stuff. Guys, thank you so much. Live, laugh and love. Please ride safe. Take it easy. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.